Great weather team coverage tonight. The tornado did a lot of damage in Revere. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. Well, before that twister made landfall, it started off as a weaker storm system right in Rhode Island. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo is in the middle of just some of that damage now, live in Revere, Massachusetts. Yeah, the damage is like I've never seen before in person. Roofs were ripped off of houses. Trees were toppled like toothpicks. It's going to be a little while before this Revere neighborhood picks up the pieces. Tornadoes aren't terribly common in southern New England, but we do occasionally get one. This morning, an EF2 touched down here in Revere, Massachusetts. It was kind of the, the same type of winds that are at least the sounds that I would expect from like a really strong windstorm. Um, something from like an extreme hurricane, um, at least from what I've experienced in the Northeast. The roof to his home ended up in his backyard. His house now deemed unsafe. A few houses down, this porch and roof to this house was badly damaged by a fallen tree. Windshields were smashed. I hit houses about 50 yards away from me. And uh, amazing how there's no damage to my home, but four houses away, they're missing roofs, porches. Uh, amazing. The storm actually began in Rhode Island, strengthening in northern Rhode Island and southern Worcester County, becoming a supercell with rotation in the clouds. That storm further strengthened. And a tornado touched down here in this Boston suburb. We're not used to uh, having these things around. I mean, you look at Kansas and Texas. I mean, we're used to our blizzards and maybe a nor'easter here and there, but middle of July, having something like this hit is absolutely out of my mind. I, it's surreal. You can see some of those large trees that were knocked down. Crews have been uh, here since 10 o'clock in the morning. Still kind of trying to put this neighborhood back together. Now the power is out here in this neighborhood of Revere. Still a lot of road closures as well. It's going to be a little while before things settle down here. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.